A NASA spacecraft is set to make history today, getting closer to the sun than any other human-made object. 77. Voyager 1 launched from Florida. In the vast silence of space, where no human has ever traveled, something just happened that has shaken scientists across the world. Voyager 2, the twin spacecraft of Voyager 1, launched in 1977, has been cruising alone through the interstellar void for nearly five decades. Built with 1970s technology, its mission was supposed to end decades ago, but now something impossible has happened. In a routine data analysis session at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, researchers noticed something disturbing. Voyager 2 had suddenly changed course, subtly, but deliberately. And then came the shocker. The spacecraft had turned its sensors backward, toward Earth. This wasn't part of its programming. Voyager 2 has long since left the area where Earth's gravity could influence it. There's no onboard artificial intelligence capable of making autonomous decisions like this. So what, or who, caused Voyager 2 to reorient itself? It started with an anomaly in the data. A burst of encrypted signals had arrived from Voyager 2, far stronger than usual. Initially dismissed as a glitch, it was soon clear this wasn't interference or cosmic noise. The pattern in the data was structured, intelligent, and terrifying. Using a recently upgraded neural AI decoding system, the same kind that reanalyzed Voyager 1's mysterious transmissions months earlier, engineers began parsing the new signal. It wasn't in any known language, not binary, not Morse, not electromagnetic telemetry. It was a sequence of layered harmonics and frequency shifts, information embedded in rhythm, not syntax. And then the system translated something, a single phrase that repeated over and over in the waveform. It is awake. Panic wasn't immediate, but it was palpable. What did it refer to? What was awake? And why had Voyager 2, the furthest traveling human object besides its twin, turned around after sending that message? NASA convened an emergency roundtable of astrophysicists, AI researchers, and even military liaisons. They compared the signal to anything and everything known. Quasars, pulsars, black hole emissions. Nothing matched. In fact, the signal seemed familiar but not from space. The AI flagged it as a harmonic resonance that mimicked patterns found in human brain activity, specifically during REM sleep and moments of extreme fear. Voyager 2 had passed through something, a field, a presence, a consciousness, and it responded, not by reaching out, but by turning its gaze back. As more data flowed in from Voyager 2, scientists began noticing strange correlations. The signal wasn't just structured, it was timed. Every 11.2 minutes, a pulse was embedded, a repeating echo, like sonar. When mapped visually, the signal formed a three-dimensional pattern, spiraling, recursive, beautiful and horrifying in equal measure. The AI began comparing it to ancient mandalas, neuron network structures, even the architecture of the human DNA helix. The deeper it went, the more one truth became unavoidable. This was not random. The hypothesis formed, Voyager 2 had entered a region of space where an ancient intelligence resided, not biological, but perhaps an electromagnetic or quantum-based entity. And this intelligence was not dormant. It had always been there, embedded within the filaments of space like a cosmic nervous system. It is awake wasn't a threat, it was an announcement. Kaku and other physicists offered unsettling theories. What if this presence was older than stars, a kind of mind scattered across space, only able to sense when disturbed? And Voyager 2, this tiny machine, had finally poked it. But that wasn't the end. Because after the message, it is awake, was decoded, another signal followed, one even stranger. It was a series of mathematical symbols not used in any human equation, but based on prime numbers, fractal geometry, and non-Euclidean models. When the AI attempted to interpret it, the translation was shocking. You have been seen. What followed next was even more inexplicable. 
At precisely 3.14 a.m. GMT, Earth-based telescopes and orbital satellites picked up a sudden shift in background radiation, faint but synchronized with the last signal. The cosmic microwave background, the echo of the Big Bang, had experienced a ripple, not a fluctuation, but a modulation. Something had answered back. Scientists scrambled to make sense of the connection. Was Voyager 2 being used as a relay? Had it awakened something that could now perceive us? More terrifying still, a group of quantum physicists suggested that the entity might not be far away in the spatial sense at all. Instead, it might exist everywhere, in dimensions adjacent to our own, able to touch our universe only when stimulated. And that stimulation had occurred. A probe. A ping. A response. The implications were terrifying. This wasn't contact with an alien civilization. This was an encounter with a universal intelligence, a mind that never needed a body, a planet, or even a star. A system that watched the universe evolve until something unfamiliar, something curious, touched it. And that something was us. Following the decoded signals, things escalated quickly. Voyager 2's instruments began to behave erratically. Its radiation sensors, which hadn't detected much in years, suddenly lit up. But the readings didn't match known radiation, no solar particles, no gamma rays. It was structured energy, something designed. NASA, ESA, and other agencies attempted to re-establish direct communication, but Voyager 2 wasn't responding anymore, not properly. Instead, it began broadcasting short pulses at fixed intervals. The AI interpreted these pulses as timestamps, not random, a countdown. The intervals were reducing, 1.2 seconds, 1.1, 0 0.9. Whatever was happening, it was building toward something. But what? Meanwhile, back on Earth, unrelated systems began experiencing anomalies. Deep-sea sensors, magnetic field readers, even animals showed erratic behavior. Birds flying off course, whales beached themselves across three continents, migratory patterns collapsed, and all this within days of the signal. Coincidence? The data suggested otherwise. A leaked internal memo from a classified military observatory mentioned synchronicity protocols being activated. Code speak, perhaps, for planetary defense readiness. Because if an intelligence could manipulate Voyager, what could it do with other systems? Could it control satellites, nuclear failsafes, mines? But even in the fear, there was awe. One final message came through, scrambled at first, then reconstructed. Unlike the others, it wasn't mathematical, it wasn't harmonic, it was visual. A set of rotating shapes mirrored over and over until they formed a recognizable image. Earth, surrounded by a spiral of light, a watchful eye hovering above. The final frame? A mirror. And then? Silence. Voyager 2 stopped transmitting, just like that. Not destroyed, not malfunctioning, but quiet. NASA publicly stated it was a power issue, but insiders knew better. This wasn't a blackout. This was intentional silence. The probe had done its job, and now it was done. The final interpretation of the countdown wasn't a weapon. It wasn't a threat. It was a window. A moment of awareness from one side of the universe to the other. A shared breath between human technology and cosmic consciousness. And now, the window has closed. But questions remain. What exactly is awake? Did we open a doorway or walk past a sleeping giant? Has Voyager 2 been compromised or chosen? Are we the ones being watched now or... Have we always been? As Koku said in a closed press briefing, we always imagined we'd hear a signal like hello or we come in peace, but the truth is more unsettling. We weren't sent a message. We triggered a reaction, and that reaction is still unfolding.
If you made it this far, thank you. What do you think Voyager 